Beautiful people of the world, it's a new video about rock and roll. So this is kind of a reaction video, so what I'm gonna do right now is NME has just released the top best heavy metal frontmen. And as you can see, the pictures of Axl Rose were already off to a bad start. So let's see their list and let's like let's walk through it together and let's comment on this and see you know how we feel about it. Okay. So number one, Ronnie James Dio of Black Sabbath fame and Dio and Rainbow and all these things. I agree. I love Ronnie James Dio. Great singer, great frontman, legendary. We can't say anything about that. We agree. All right. Number two, Mike Patton of Faith No More. Okay. Um, sure, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I would put him as the number two frontman uh, of heavy metal. I don't know if I would do that. I mean, he's cool and I like Faith No More, but I wouldn't say number two frontman. Okay, cool, fine, all right. Number three, Bruce Dickinson. Okay, I mean, yeah, Bruce Dickinson, hell yeah, he's gotta be in the top three or top five. He's definitely over Mike Patton. Definitely, right? That's Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden. I mean, they rewrote metal history. So I think on the heavy metal top 10 list, he should probably be a little above uh, Mike Patton. But anyway, let's move on. Number four, Rob Halford. Okay, yeah, Judas Priest, of course. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Number four, Rob Halford. Number five, Ozzy Osbourne. I think, yeah, yeah, you know, when you said Mike Patton, number two, I kind of think that Ozzy Osbourne had a bigger impact on heavy metal than Mike Patton. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Ozzy Osbourne number two. Anyway, let's move on. Number six, Axl Rose. I love Guns N' Roses. You know that I love Guns N' Roses. The next guy knows that I love Guns N' Roses, but Axl Rose isn't a heavy metal frontman. I don't care what you say. Axl Rose is a hard rock frontman. He's a rock and roller, right? He's not a heavy metal guy. So what's Axl Rose doing here in this list? Enemy? What gives? What gives? Number seven, according to Enemy, Corey Taylor. I respect that you put Corey Taylor on there because you need a sort of modern uh, heavy metal vocalist to be on that list. Cool, yeah, Corey Taylor of Slipknot, why not? But there's a big problem when you've reached number seven and you put Corey Taylor, and there's a certain personality still missing from the list. Let's move on and see if that personality is on the list anyway. Okay, so let's go. Number eight, Phil Anselmo of Pantera. Yeah, I mean, it's Phil Anselmo and it's Pantera and they should be on the list. I'll put them ahead of uh, Corey Taylor, but you know, uh, with uh, Phil Anselmo's recent Racist remarks, I don't know if I would put him anywhere on the list. But anyway, let's move on. Number nine, here's a personality that's made number nine, it's James Hetfield. He's at number nine. Really? Really? Axl Rose and Corey Taylor came before James Hetfield? Really? No. Number 10, Alice Cooper. All right, okay, so, I mean, enemy, we need to talk. Obviously, heavy metal is not your strongest suit, so um, we're not gonna judge you harshly. But, I mean, research, right? Have a little conversation with maybe the people who like rock or metal or hard rock or whatever and ask them, hey, you know, I'm putting the top 10 metal vocalists of all time and, uh, and I wanna know, what do you guys think? So I think you get a lot of people who would tell you, don't put Axl Rose on there. I mean, if you're gonna count down the top 10 rock and roll vocalists of all time, then yeah, I would put Axl Rose on there along with Steven Tyler and Mick Jagger and all these guys. And that makes sense. But if you're gonna put Axl Rose in there and then rank him above James Hetfield, who really is the face of heavy metal of the past 30 years, I don't know, man. I have to say that I don't agree. Anyway, what do you guys think of Enemy's um, list? I'm gonna link it down in the bio so you could check it out yourself, read it, and let me know what you think. All right, that's all. It's a short video. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Peace.